Hey guys, I'm Jeff. You're watching Jeff's Custom RC, and today we are coming to you with a brand new airplane, guys. Avios and Hobby King. We're going to be unboxing the all new version 2 C130. Stick around, and I'll get right to it and show you what we got. All right, guys, so this is it. You see it. Um, it's going to be a beautiful airplane, and again, it's Avios. This airplane basically comes with your quick setup guide here. Um, if you have any questions, you can also scan the code and it will take you to the full PDF at the Hobby King website. So also to mention, this plane comes in two different schemes. This comes in your civilian scheme or it comes in your Coast Guard scheme. This one is a Coast Guard scheme because I love Coast Guard. Um, I love the colors and this one just looks really nice to me. Um, so basically what we're looking at guys, this is an airplane with a 1600 millimeter wingspan. Uh, you've got a 1195 millimeter length overall. Um, this is basically a uh, 2627 1000 kV brushless motor. Speed control um, is a, uh, you got four 18 amp brushless ESCs in this airplane. Uh, you have four scale 6x554 blade props. Uh, you fly this with an 1800 to 2200 milliamp 4S pack, give or take. We'll all figure out what works better for this airplane once we get flying with it, because we all know how that works. We like to push the limits a little bit. But they've done a lot of upgrades on this, guys, and uh, the gear, everything, I've, I've opened it up and looked at it a little bit. It's pretty, pretty nice construction from what I can tell. I really like it a lot. And like I said, this is the V2, so as usual, they've typically done some good upgrades. So let's get right at it and look at what we got. I want to thank also Hobby King and Stuart for sending this to me and letting me present this to you guys. Again, super excited, great airplane, so let's get right at it. Um, this is one of our wing halves with your two nacelles uh, on each wing. All right, so guys, as you can see, this is your... Coast Guard scheme, colors, looks really nice. You have all ball link clevises and all of your push rods, except for your ailerons on this airplane, are already connected, as you can see. Um, again, the finish on this is very nice. The foam is actually white. It's not painted foam, which gives a little less weight to this airplane. Um, you have a landing light here as well, and you also have your wingtip lights, which is really nice. Um, you have two sets of flaps. Actually, you know, this is, this is your long uh, outboard. This is your hard point inboard flap, guys. And again, like I said, your push rods are already connected, which is really nice. Hard points around each motor uh, nacelle. And then guys, as you can see here, we're going to have our quick connector for your wings. This is really a nice, really good feature. A lot of uh, companies are starting to do this now and uh, looks really good. So we'll get further into that. I'll show you how this works. So I'm going to lay this here and uh, here are your prop presses. As you guys can see, that looks really, really nice. I like how they've done that. It's even got the decals on it. Um, just very impressive as, as scale goes guys that looks really good as you see you have four of those again we have our other wing half this is very nicely packaged too guys we have our other wing half as you can see this one looks really nice too don't see any imperfections that i can tell right off you also have cooling on these as well guys you have holes for good ventilation coming through here to your escs um, Air can come in through the cowl, exits out through the hole there, which is really nice. I'll lay this one over here and keep it out of the way. Really big carbon rod, guys. This is probably, uh, it's close to half inch in diameter. That's very, very stout rod there for your wings. Um, let's see what else we got here. These are all your uh, bag of bits. Um, your nose cone, there is a hard nose cone that goes on here, antennas, things like that. Um, we'll get more into that stuff there too as we build this airplane for you guys. Really nice drop tanks as well with this particular airplane, guys. Um, 
pretty impressive. It's got really nice earth magnets in it, so that's that's a really cool feature there too. Again, you have a hard connection point, which is really nice. Here are some more of your servo uh, connectors. Um, everything's pretty much plugged in except for the one here, and you know you have two elevator halves, which is really nice. And guys, these have got hard hinges actually uh, nice hard hinges in these elevators um, so that's not just foam so that's really nice uh, you have to connect your push rods which again not a big deal you'll be able to set those yourself but the finish and the decals on this guy is super super nice I, I don't see anything wrong with this again another light back here on the elevator okay this is going to be our rudder Elizabeth City North Carolina guys go imagine that that's pretty cool uh, and we are from here in North Carolina, so that's actually cool to us. Um, again, you have your servo lead here. All hard points, guys. Really, really nice there where your screws go in. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, the detail and the decals, everything on here looks really good. I, I don't see any, any issues with any of this. You also have a hard point here, which is really nice, as we all know, because we all tend to bump this from time to time. So... Yeah, uh, also as far as your rudder goes, you have hard hinges again, guys. So that's another home run. Way to go, Avios. Thank you for that as well. Guys, this is the part you've all been waiting for here. Um, I know Bill's excited, so y'all don't mind him if you hear him breathing hard back there behind the camera. <laughs> this is, uh, as our friends over in uh, Slovenia would say, we're going to do this slow and sexy for you guys. Uh, Pilot Robert, you know what I'm talking about. Let's get this thing out of here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, fellas. Look how big this thing is. That is super, super nice, guys. Um, like I said, you've got you've got windows, clear windows in the sides, which is really cool. You've got windows here. Your hard points all up in here for your wing connections. This is all hard. These are your wing connectors, which again, really, really nice. Um, lights on top, uh, hard connections down in here also for your uh, rudder connection. Um, all of your doors for your retracts are hard plastic. Very nice there as well. And guys, hey, you got your Bombay door here, which will be opening soon. We'll show you all that as well. Um, but yeah, this is, this is really nice looking. Um, now I want to open the side here, guys, and show you how to get into this thing. There's a little lever right here. Just kind of lift. You hear that nice snap. You got good magnets in there, very strong. And uh, let's lay that right there. Hope you guys can see in here. Bill can get in on that pretty tight and look in there. Um, got a lot of room in here, guys, for your battery. That's really nice. The straps are already applied for you. So it's mainly just getting your receiver in there and getting it set up and ready to go. Um, another cool unique feature is the clear canopy. Uh, if you wanted to put pilots in here or light it up, and you know how we like to do those things, again, you can do that too. So I'm going to get this box moved out of the way, and I'm going to get some parts laid out so you guys can get in on it a little tighter and let you look at it closer, and then we'll start getting this thing together for you guys. So hang around. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so here's an overview of the entire plane, all the parts laid out. Again, you have your super nice wings. Uh, you can see your, your hard points here for the cowl around each nacelle. Again, guys, you've got all hard hinges in this airplane, which is really nice. I'm very impressed by that. Um, obvious, good job on that. I can honestly say we all like the hard hinges better than the foam hinges. Again, you notice all of your really nice hinge points for your flaps. You've got the brass ball link clevises. Again, your push rods for your uh, flaps are already connected. This again, guys, is a hard point on this particular flap as well. And, uh, you know, basically your drop tanks will go in here somewhere, I believe. You might have to remove a little tape. Again, here is your props, which look amazing. I'm getting really close on those so you can see the detail. That looks really, really good. And here you have your 
rudder and the rudder looks really really nice again hard hinge points on that as well and here are your dual elevators each elevator has its own servo and again as you can tell right here guys we've got hard hinges no foam hinges really really nice and you got hard connection points down in here and if i flip this over for you you got your quick connector here and then hard points as well for connections there so as you can see your dual servos really nice and then lastly we come into your fuselage and again all of your hard points are here your wing connector connections you see where your nice size carbon rod that i showed you guys earlier which is here slides through into there that's a nice size carbon rod probably almost a half inch in diameter you have your quick assembly sheet along with your um, barcode that you can scan your cg is here all of your rates are here as well so if you guys can uh it's pretty much a simple build here you have your again your parts bag your push rods antennas things like that you also have your drop tanks with your earth magnets that are super nice so yeah just a really nice overall finish on this airplane so uh very impressed with it and we're going to get this thing and try to get it mocked up and get it built and we'll let you see what we got when we're done stick around all right guys so we're back and as you can see we've got it all put together i cannot tell you guys how easy this plane was to assemble uh everything went together amazing um you have all of your wing bolts are hex heads which are great we don't have to deal with a phillips screw and actually the hex heads are 2.5 millimeter which is a great size to work with uh, the rudder screws same thing and you have two aluminum rods that go into the tail rather than carbon rods they're aluminum rods that really support this elevator half here guys which this is all one piece i do not have any of the surfaces connected yet um, we've got the props turning the gear working in the Bombay door which I will show you the door on this particular airplane now I'm going to reduce the speed on this as well guys so I'm going to adjust this door guys so that it, it slowly opens and closes right now this is just how it is right out of the box so that's position one and position two and again I'm going to slow that down and and that's closed now as you can see we also have a little adjustment to get everything tightened up in here a little bit that's just a matter of uh, the servo uh, arm and and checking that so also guys we've got the gear working on here but i want to take this first and i'm just going to show you how nice this thing looks with the props on here and uh, we've got the drop tanks installed now another thing i'm going to tell you before i show you the the props the drop tanks on here when you flip this plane over there are places you will not hardly see them there's tape over them these little pieces right here guys you, you just take your blade and cut the tape slightly cut the decal and then you slide a little screwdriver in there and pop these right up you'll expose your magnets and then you can put your drop tanks on and then if you don't want to fly with these of course as i said they are earth magnets they come right off um, I'll show you under here where the little pieces, as you can see, in that wing. Can you see that, Bill? Yeah, it's coming in here. Yeah, so that's basically where they go, guys, is right here. So you just got to cut that decal, and once you cut the decal, that little piece pops right out, and you expose your magnets. And then you put your drop tank right back up there. Um, and again, uh, we I, I will probably paint these drop tanks. Um, but they, they, they snap in very well. Um, another cool thing is the paint on them is not, uh, the, there's no paint on the magnet, so you don't have to worry about scraping that off. So they actually hold pretty well. So I'm going to give it just a little bit of a spool up, guys, so you can see. She's got good thrust. We took it outside a while ago. Yeah, it's blowing things behind me, guys. And the battery's probably only on like 3.7. I'm going to show you now. We do have the gear hooked up. Hope you guys can see the landing lights on this thing. They look really, really nice. 
So what I'm going to do now, and this plane does have a slight delay, so we're going to put the gear up. Now your doors will shut. So note to self, guys, before you fly this plane, cycle your gear. It's a lot like the uh, MiG-17. One more time. Alright, and then we'll come down with them again. I love the landing lights on the doors. Super nice, guys. Um, as I said, you've got landing lights on both wings. You've got your wingtip lights, which are super bright. You've got beacons here. You've got a light on the rudder uh, on the elevator back here and I do believe there is actually oh, there's not one underneath but again now I'll tell you another thing that's really cool guys that you could do with this airplane you could go in here and put some lights inside this plane to light up the cockpit and not only that but the porthole windows in this plane are clear glass so you could light those up as well which would be really cool but um, other than that guys she's pretty much put together except for all of the control linkages and everything, which I'll get that done and uh, show you that as well. Um, so, but very easy build, no glue, um, except for your bits, which you have your different antennas, you have your little nose cone that will glue onto the nose, um, like a little satellite uh, boom there that goes on somewhere in this top area, um, and some other little styrofoam bits that glue on here. Other than that, guys, Pretty straightforward. Windshield wipers. Which uh, and there nice is, touch. yeah, there, there's actually windshield wipers in this bag that go on the uh, cockpit up here, man. So those are pretty cool. And you've got your pitot tubes that go on each side here as well. So again, like I say, cool little bits to really dress this thing up, guys. But the scale on this plane is just amazing. And uh, again, Abios and Hobby King have knocked this one out of the park. So. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll get back with you and show you everything working and all the surfaces. Stick around for that. All right, guys, so as you can see, just a gorgeous airplane. I'll give you a little bit of a walk around here, guys. Uh, very impressed with this airplane. It just it looks amazing. It flies amazing. The, the gear are super scale. Great airplane.